How would you like to make super crispy and low carb chips from cheese and guacamole from avocados? Here is what you need for our guacamole, avocado and Mexican salsa. And for chips you need parchment paper and cheese, grated cheese. Here is how you make chips and while they are making in a microwave. You can work on your guacamole. This is 8 inch round of parchment paper. You can cut your own from the roll because supermarkets usually sell rolls of paper. Alright, here is the measuring cup and I measure so I would know how many seconds precisely I need to put my microwave for perfect crispiness. And I arrange cheese in a ring shape because middle of the cheese is always gooey. So if you make a ring, there is nothing will be gooey, everything will be the same crispiness. Now, as I said, guacamole. Cut your avocado a quarter way around, three quarter way around, drop the pit, you can do it over the trash can, and squeeze the avocado out of its skin. There you go. Now you can mush your avocado right on a plate. And add your fresh Mexican salsa. So you had, if you want really low carb, put less salsa, okay? And more avocado. Because uh, salsa has tomatoes, peppers, onions. It's more carby, more carbs than avocado. There you go. Your guacamole is ready. You like it more thick, you can just grab it with no water, with fork and also mush it harder but I like this consistency and after 1 minute 15 seconds half cup of cheese is ready and I have one more advice do not use half cup of cheese like me better I never measured before that's why I have half cup I advise to make quarter cup of cheese measurement and that way you get uh, perfect crispiness tea and uh, will be much much better chips just put a quarter cup of shredded cheese for 45 seconds all right this is second batch i'm gonna make uh, more than one batch so i would have like ketogenic party that's what I got after 1 minute 15 seconds. It's still hot. You can take cold cookie sheet and chill it for 20 seconds on a cookie sheet before you remove the cheese from paper. Don't use any wax paper, any foil or anything else. For this recipe you really need parchment paper and it's sold in supermarkets in rolls not in rounds like me using like I'm using here is how you break them the best part of the transaction as I say and this one is more flexible and less dry so what I do I take kitchen scissors and just cut it into chips shapes in a few minutes it will be crispy too and this one is crispy you don't need to use scissors for this round and now I'm going to try them and of course as always, they taste good. And
and I wanted to show you some trick. If you feel that they are kind of too greasy, here's what you can do. Add some grated parmesan from supermarket. And the greasiness on the fingers that you have from melted cheese will go away with that uh, parmesan cheese. It will kind of mask it, okay? And uh, one more thing I wanted to remind you that uh, half cup of cheese it's too much. Just use quarter cup of cheese for 45 or so seconds. And this is picture for a memory, for good memories. Have a nice day.